Okay, hi guys. So uh, we are continuing uh, discover uh, Vulcan and render passes and sub passes and how can we uh, handle input attachments. And uh, today I will present you my code and I hope you will find it interesting and maybe helpful. I will start from the build frame buffers uh, because exactly in this place we are uh, saying to Vulkan what attachment it will uh, handle uh, through all its uh, like render work. Here I am uh, saying to the swap chain image uh, that I am getting from my like device class and also um, I am saying that he will work with the uh, main render target attachment and depth image attachment. You saw it previously when I was showing a uh, render doc capture. So also, I guess the most important and like thing that I was like suffering so much, so much was uh, in re-implementing my render pass. Uh, at the beginning, I am uh, uh, I am creating attachment descriptions. So we will have, as I already showed you, swap chain attachment. Uh, we will have main render target attachment and depth image attachment. Uh, I am also, uh, but like when we are copying it using uh, Vulkan copy commands, we are uh, calling also memory barrier for pipeline and we are setting usually the uh, old and new layouts. Basically, it's what I'm doing here when I'm setting an information about initial and final layout for this particular attachment. So you can see that I'm always starting with the unde undefined layout and I am uh, ending with the, some kind of layout that I want to uh, handle in the in the my render pass. So and you can see, for example, for swap chain, we always use it as a present uh, source uh, key HR stuff. Uh, also for my render target, we have color attachment and for depth, we have this depth sten stencil uh, attachment. Anyway, after that, I am uh, setting the sub pass description. As I said, I have two sub passes now. First, we'll uh, process and uh, draw into the color input image and the depth buffer image. And the second sub pass will copy from this color input image to the swap chain. Uh, yes. So then after we have input attachment reference, so we can uh, understand how we will use this reference in our uh, second uh, sub pass. And so I have uh, dependencies. At, it's like uh, we are also saying how we will tran, uh, transit our uh, input attachments from like, uh, for example, color attachment mode to the shader read mode or how we will like uh, from shader read mode uh, transfer it to memory read mode. And uh, yes, and then after I just setting up the render pass info in creating render pass. And for example, this is like how I was trying to make it with me memory barriers. I would like, if I would try to make it, I would uh, do it in this way, like that I will uh, do a barrier for a render target, I would do a barrier for depth image, then I will start a uh, render pass, and then I will just also somehow call copy uh, from color attachment to swap chain attachment. But like, I am not doing this. So I can delete it. And here you can see that I'm just beginning my render pass. I am rendering scene with uh, my objects and stuff. I'm calling him GUI, I'm ending render pass. That's all. And like, every magic is, uh, it already happened when I was creating render pass. And it's like amazing. Only one thing left that I am like doing all my uh, drawing commands calls and after and it, it's like all done in sub pass zero. Yeah. And after that, I am uh, going to sub pass one and I'm writing to the shader from the uh, color attachment that I had. I am calling uh, CMD next sub pass. I am binding pipeline and I also have another pipeline which will just uh, read the value from input attachment and write it to my swap chain image. Uh, and I'm calling it just like the draw for my rectangle, if I can say so. Uh, also, I will show you, uh, I will show you how I made it in shader. So 
yes, it's just like my shader. It, everything works as like usually, but here I am defining input attachments by index and also their descriptor set and their bindings. Uh, and we have a new, a new like uh, type, <laughs> type data type, subpass input. And also we are loading uh, the information that contains this image using subpass load. And I'm just uh, writing it to the back to the swap chain image. That's, I guess, for this part, that's all. Uh, let's say, let's look, take a look to my pipeline. Uh, so I am now set up in, uh, set, setting up uh, four pipelines. <laughs> like uh, I'm doing Sprite pipeline. Uh, and it's also like uh, the same for the others almost. I am uh, setting uh, global layout and sampler layout from the scripter sets. Also, uh, I am setting up a model pipeline, debug pipeline, and also for my sub pass too, I'm setting up the read pipeline that will be used only once when I am uh, calling this uh, CMG next sub pass and binding this sub no, this pipeline. Um, well, um, well, let's take a look on it. It's basically the same. Uh, all the information is the same as here in setting up uh, setup pipeline, uh, except of this subpass uh, that I'm uh, doing equal to zero, and uh, subpass that is equal to one, uh, and also layout uh, different layouts. Also, I guess important stuff was how I handled uh, the scriptor sets because I had to uh, manipulate with them too. I just had to increase my uh, layout bindings for for my uh, layout that was used uh, with the sampler. I also increased the scriptor pool size and I added uh, references to, to uh, input attachments. I, uh, yes, so I increased it and I created uh, three descriptor set layout information, uh, one for combined sampler and two for input attachment uh, and just like setting the correct uh, binding uh, number. Uh, so then I am just uh, creating it and also I have new function update attachment descriptors that is called when I am uh, recreating my uh, swap chains images and frame buffers. Um, we are allocating uh, this like space for this uh, uh, descriptor uh, set and uh, I am just uh, saying that uh, I will have this kind of image layout so they will be binded with the render pass information and also i am uh, like referencing setting the image views for this particular uh, descriptor sets uh, bindings uh, and also i'm updating it and for sampler it it is the same but it's just like doing just for one, yes. And like it's taking a sampler and image view information and it's writing it to the correct place. Uh, when we will, we can see it's like, uh, like here it's like a count of this descriptor and it's his uh, binding, yes, and it's, it's zero. And, and also same, same thing uh, is here, but I'm just iterating through the Y variable. Uh, yeah, and so you can see also, again, here binding one, binding two, and also if you will see, for example, where is my fragment helper, helper, it's here like descriptor set number one and binding zero. So they are not conflicting, everything is fine, I'm using uh, the attachment when I want to use it uh, over my render pass. Okay guys, hello, now I am uh, recording from my windows and 
we will just see how it works. I um, implement some, like I fix some basic stuff. I wasn't able to find uh, motivation and uh, time to fix uh, window resizing issues, but uh, like basic stuff works and uh, you can just uh, see that it is uh, potentially, potentially uh, cross-platform stuff. Okay, so I will test my this uh, level with the 3D objects and it works. I like it. It's still good and it's actually like this updated version with the uh, TOSA passes. So yeah, nice, good, fast. Uh, can I change colors? I hope so. Yes, I can change colors. Mm, you can see that still like mouse input is weird. Sometimes it, sometimes it just does this such weird glitch. Anyway. Uh, also have weird stuff when I'm trying to resize the window. Hope you see. Uh, yes. So, yeah, it do doing stuff like this, and it's like it it does resizing, but some kind of weirdly. I I need to press it, like trigger the resizing several times. <laughs> but like, it has potential. I would say has potential being good. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, okay, so for now I am ending my presentation and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm not sure what I will do next time, but uh, I hope we will stay in touch uh, and have a nice uh, week, everyone.